What is up, Bull Nation, and welcome to another Elden Ring video. We are back again, guys, with more armor locations and back to the mage. Yes, guys, back to mage armor. And this guy, I, I don't even know what to call this armor. I know it's for a mage character, but it looks like an alien. At least to me, it does. It looks dope, but it looks like a big alien head right there. I, I, it even looks like it had an eye, like a big eyeball, like a big blue eye. I don't know. That's what I'm going with. But anyways, this particular armor, guys, is really awesome because it gives you extra magic power. In addition to that, it comes with a full set. Now, if you guys saw my Asur armor location, that one comes with the he uh, helmet, chest piece, uh, you know, gauntlets, and no pants. This one actually comes completely with everything. And let's actually check what this armor does in order to kind of understand where we're getting the majority of, of power from. So just wearing this helmet alone, it's going to increase the power from your sorcery spells, but it's going to be costing additional FP consumption. Now, if you did see my one-shot build, I have a way to avoid that consumption and just get the benefits of this helmet. That's why this armor set is pretty dope. Now, in addition to that, we also have this one right here, which is going to be the robes. And this one does not give you any sort of, you know, power or anything like that. I wish it did, but you don't really get nothing from that. It just says that, you know, where it's coming from and what's it about. And, of course, the gauntlets is the same thing. Now, I'm showing you guys because I, someone in the comment section asked me, Laser, can you please show the description of the items when you go through them? So, we're going to show them to you guys like that. And this one, once again, does not give you any sort of, you know, a benefit. It's just aesthetics. And these are the last pants that we have, which are these. And these are going to be really about the same thing. Again, really cool looking pants because you can pair them up with other stuff. So it's going to make you very light. As you guys see right here, the equipment load is only down to 35. The only heavy, heavy item here would probably be the chest piece and, of course, the, uh, you know, the, the helmet. Now, cool thing about this armor is you're going to be getting a lot of damage negation. So physically, this one is going to be a little bit better than the certain. Now, I have like a versus video so you guys can know exactly what the big difference is whenever you're trying to decide which one you want to go with. But that would be for a future date. But in addition to that, guys... That is the armor set. So if you guys are enjoying our content here on the channel and want to know how to actually get this item and where you need to go, well, make sure you drop a like because it does help us out with the algorithm. So hit that like button like your mama taught you right. Now, without further ado, guys, let's show you guys exactly where you need to go in order to get this amazing armor. So I'm going to give you three things that you need to do before you start the quest. The reason I'm going to say you need to do these is because this is going to reduce the fact that you're going back and forth, back and forth. The first requirement, I and mean, I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys have this already completed, is that you have to beat Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. She's going to be part of the storyline, so you're going to have to kill her, and she's going to have to be dead in order for you to get this item. So I'm pretty sure at least 80% of you guys have beaten her. If you haven't beaten her, drop it in the comment section down below like, Laser, I haven't beaten her. And number two, guys, you need to have beaten Radon. Now, if you guys don't know exactly where to go and beat Radon, I'm actually going to show you guys right here on the map where you need to go and what you need to do. Now, there is going to be a little bit thing that extra that you're going to have to do from beating Radon, and that is go ahead and talk to the guy that's going to be in the, uh, pretty much that's going to be in the area that before you go into the quest line. You know the guy you talk to and he says, yo, uh, you know, there's a big tournament going on and this is what's going on. But basically, guys, to get to get to Redon, you're going to have to go to this location right here on the map. It's pretty much all the way to the far, uh, uh, down to the right hand side of the map. And it's going to be this area. We're going to need to go to this particular castle. And once we go into this castle, we're going to need to talk to this guy right here. It's an NPC. Talk to him. He's going to tell you that the festival is about to start. And that's going to additionate the Redon boss fight. Kill Redon. And you guys have that already out of the way. Now, the last thing you're going to need to do is, guys, you're going to want to make sure you actually talk to Azor before you begin his quest. Now, in order to do that, guys, you're going to need to go and pick up the Comet special ability. Now, if you guys saw my video on what the best ability is currently right now in the game, this, which is the Comet, the Comet of Azor, you should already know the location. So if you have those three things checked off, you're able to continue. If you don't have those three things checked off, I'm going to show you guys where to actually pick up the Comet so you can start the quest line. What you guys are going to need to do, you guys are going to go to the Entry Gazing Hills. And from there, you're going to wake your wake around until you get to Azor. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly how you get there and how to make this go fast.
Alright, so for the next step, guys, you're going to have to go to the Waypoint Ruins. And in the Waypoint Ruins, you're going to need to talk to the Sorcerer Selen. Now, she's going to have a lot of dialogue. What I would suggest is just listen to all her dialogue, get rid of all her dialogue. Now, when you're done with all her dialogue, she's then going to have another option for you to talk to her, another dialogue called Shore Asur's Sorcery. This is because you picked up the comet, and this is what's actually going to start the quest to activate and to get this armor. Now, when she starts talking, just go ahead, listen to her, and clear out all the dialogue. And then after you're done talking to her, talk to her again. And then you're going to click where it says, tell me your story. Then when she tells you the story, guys, you're also going to go ahead and she's going to tell you about another magician called Master Lucid. Now, him in particular, he has an armor set as well, which I'm going to tell you guys how to get in another video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But you just want to go ahead and keep clearing the dialogue as you're going. Now, after you're done with all the complete dialogue, she's going to give you an item called the Seal Breaker. Of course, you should already know what this does. It's supposed to break a seal. All right, guys, so now that you have all the items ready to go, guys, you're going to want to go to this location right here. Now, there's two ways you can get here. You can either do the fourth for off way, or you can come to the Dragon Barrel Fork. Either way, you want to get up in this vicinity, or you can come all the way through here. It's just going to be a further distance that you're going to have to travel. But the closest one is this one right here. You're basically always going to want to end up here to make sure you get the shortcut. So once you're in this location, you're going to want to go to this cave, which is called the hideaway. This is where we're going to use the seal in order to be able to get the stuff that needs to be getting for, for her to bring it back to her. So we're going to travel here to the fourth. And once we're in the fourth, we're going to take this route. Now, this personally route is the best way you can actually get down there without taking any fall damage. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. You're going to go here. I'm going to keep going down here and take this little pathway. Now, you're going to go to this part where I actually... All right, so you're going to come to this location right here and keep going a little bit. After this rock, guys, you're going to jump and you're going to notice that there is this kind of like little boulder sticking out, right? So what you want to do, guys, is you want to go down to this bottom part right here, this one right here, and jump on top of the tree that's right there, okay? So you want to make sure you land on the tree so you don't take fall damage, land on the tree, and now you're in the bottom, and now you're in the in the Kaled. Now, in the Kaled, there is going to be a kind of like a grave site right there with an enemy what you want to do of course is avoid the enemy not get shot by the enemy even though he does hurt when he shoots you and you want to you know get rid of these guys but what you want to do here guys is you also want to make sure that you you don't have to get rid of them but you're going to want to walk up to this wall and in this wall you're going to want to hit it all right guys so now that you guys entered that area you're going to have to go through the wall way like i did and you want to make sure you get to the area where there is a kind of wall bar barrier which i'm going to show you guys right now when you get to this wall barrier guys you're going to find the uh break the wall seal and you're going to find lucid right there and he once you find him he's going to be kind of dead you're going to go ahead and walk up to him and you are going to get a thing called the stars of ruin there's going to be an item that he's going to give you once he gives you said item, you're able to leave the area and get out of the cave, or you can complete the cave if you want. You're still able to get some really cool, powerful, magical stuff. So if you are a mage, I would highly recommend you complete it. If not, just leave the area. You're then going to have to go back and talk to Selen, and once again, she is going to give you guys another dialogue. Once again, do the dialogue and click where it says, About My Request. All right, so once you finish her dialogues, guys, now she's going to tell you, you know, I'm going to ask you for a favor, and you're going to do her the favor. And that favor, guys, is actually going to take you to this back part here, which is a part where there's going to be a little bit of ruins. Now, these particular ruins are going to be the ones that are going to lead you to find the extra piece of the puzzle. Now, you're able to come all the way back here, guys, to this particular area. I already have a waypoint, which is very close to the ruins, which is the Fourth Church of America. Now, if you don't have one, I do know that there is a point right here as well. Basically, you want to make sure you get to this part right here where these ruins are at. I'm going to play the video of me actually getting to these ruins because there is a little pathway that leads down there. And once you go into that pathway, you are then going to be able to continue to the next step. When you get into this area, guys, you're going to notice that not only do you need to break the wall to actually find the downstairs path, but you also need to raise a door to get in here. Now, when you go up to this door, you're going to notice that there is going to be a dead body of sources selling. Now, make sure you check the area because there are other stuff that you're able to get, especially if you're into magic, which you, I think you get the shard, the ambush shard from here. So talk to her, and she's going to tell you, you know what, I'm going to give you guys my glintstone, but you need to take this glintstone to another body to revive me. So you're going to grab her, stick your hand into her tummy, grab her soul, and then we're going into another area because now with the Selen's primal glintstone, 
we actually have to go and resurrect her with her new body. All right, so after you guys have her soul ready to go, now we have to go and go to the manor. Now, it's pretty, pretty easy to do. Uh, what I would recommend, if you haven't done this area already, come and do this particular area, which is the uh, Caria Manor. And this is not that difficult to complete, guys. It's super easy. I wouldn't say super easy, but it's pretty easy. Like, there's only one boss that you have to fight. So basically, you start off right here, and you wake your way around the manor. And within this area right here, this lake area, there's going to be a boss. You're going to kill that little boss, and then you're able to proceed to this top part of the portion, which is called the Rian's Rise. This is where you guys actually want to end and have the checkpoint. If you don't have this checkpoint, as you make your way up here, just follow the video of what I do because from this checkpoint you have to go out of the out of the castle and then go to the other place. So just follow this area and you guys should be good to go. Now, once you land here, guys, it's pretty simple. Come back outside of the castle, avoid the dragon, make a left, go to the ruins, hit the floor because you're not going to be able to see the pathway. Work your way down and then you're going to find Selen once again and you're going to want to make sure you give her her soul. All right, so now that we returned her soul, guys, we are back again, fast traveling, guys, back to when we killed Radon. We're going to go to this particular area, which is called the chamber outside of the plaza, and we're going to head over here. And remember the NPC we talked about earlier? He said, yo, you're going to start this new festival and yada, yada, yada. He's going to be located back here, but we're going to have to go travel to this place and walk our way up the bridge, and he's going to be sitting on a chair. Walk up to him and talk to him, activate the uh, dialogue, and then we're on to the next step. All right, so once that NPC has done talking to you guys, it's actually pretty easy after this. Now, I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys have already completed the area where you need to kill the Queen of the Full Moon because you can't do this quest without completing it. And that is basically the area we're going to go to. So you should have all this area unlocked because you can't get this armor unless you kill the Queen of the Moon. So... You should have this area unlocked. Now, once you go here, guys, you're going to go and make sure you go to the area where you actually fought her. So, so this is going to be the Raya Lucia's Grand Library. We're going to fast travel right there. And when we fast travel right here to this particular area, this is where the boss fight is at. Or remember where we killed her. And she's going to be kind of dead on center. What you're going to want to do, guys, is you're going to want to make sure you exit the area you came in through this area. Now, when you exit the area where you came in through this area... You're going to notice right outside the door, there are going to be two options. There's going to be like a red flame and a yellow flame. Now, the, these flames will give you an option to decide who you want to protect in this fight that's going to happen. Basically, the NPC we went to go talk to at Redon's, he's going to be the one fighting, and so is going to be selling. So you got to pick which one do you want to protect. So you're going to have to decide who do you want to fight with. Do you want to fight for the Redon NPC, or do you want to fight for the for Selen? Of course, we want to fight for Selen because we're mage characters, and we want to get as much mage power as we possibly can. So we're going to go to the yellow option. Once you select the yellow option, you're going to get spawned back inside the area where we killed the queen of the the full queen of the moon, and we're going to go ahead and help her kill the NPC of Redon. Now, once we kill him. We're going to be able to get some really amazing loot. We're going to get uh, able to get some really good stuff. But that is not exactly what we're after. Now, after that grand fight, guys, Selen's going to appear in the middle of the map. Now, once she appears in the middle of the map, you're going to go ahead and talk to her. And she's going to give you a dialogue. After she's done with the dialogue, you're going to go to the rest spot and rest in the rest spot. Come back up. And she's going to be converted to a big ball with a bunch of heads. She's going to be right here. And then she's going to be part of a vending portion where you're going to be able to buy and sell stuff. So after she goes ahead and you you uh, you pretty much rested, she's going to disappear from the area of the map. And you guys are good to go. Now, to collect the final piece, which is the complete armor, where exactly do we go? All right, guys. So now it's on to the final step. What you need to do, guys, is head over to this area right here once my map actually loads. This area right here, guys, the Celia Hideaway. You're going to work your way over here, and once you get here, you're going to go into the cave, and we are going to back go back to the location where we had the broken down uh, you know, emblem or symbol. We're going to work our way back over here. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you exactly how to complete this cave. I'm going to let the rest of the video play out so you can see the route. You don't really have to fight anyone. As long as you just follow the route and you just keep running, you should be good to go. I do hope you guys are enjoying our Elden Ring content, guys. If you are, do me the huge favor, guys. Hit that like button like your mama taught you right. Help us out with that algorithm. In addition to that, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss our Elden Ring coverage. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay here that I'm going to show you guys where to get a location. Pick out your helmet, pick up your gauntlets, pick up your chest piece, and also your pants. And you guys should be able to rock the mage 
like crazy. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.